Colorado Kraken, another heartbreaker in five sets. JJ, to start with you, I mean, what does it mean or feel like to, to go the distance all the way and fall just short? I think we start like we start doing a great job with our serve and blocking. I, uh, we get some good digs, so we start like doing our points out of uh, transition. Uh, second, third set, we try to recover, changing our lineup, the same uh, lineup that we uh, play: uh, stunners, ramblers, stingers. Uh, we couldn't. I think it, uh, it was more mentally. We were mentally uh, prepared for when, not saying this is gonna be easy, but we thought we we're gonna have a, a good match. Uh, bringing Christian, uh, Christian and I get here like six hours before the game because of the lie. Uh, we tried to like rowdy and him, like set it up, but uh, we couldn't. Uh, Alvarez injury, I think it was a uh, good, our upset for tonight. Uh, I, th I think four set we try to recover with set and digs, but we we try harder in the f in the fifth set. Uh, we couldn't. We were like four points. They were point four points ahead. It was really hard to come back. And Rowdy, obviously losing someone like that changes the whole game plan. But as a team, you guys hit thirty six percent. I mean, yeah. how do you how do you correct that? I don't know. I think it was a lot of, I could do way better. Like, I don't know. Um, passing was pretty good, I thought, for most of the night. Um, and there's points, you know, where we're, where we'll go on runs and we'll be, I think, like maybe the best team in the league. And like, when we find our rhythm and we find our swag, like we can't be stopped. But then one bad thing happens and our whole team just goes down and we need to fix that together. Um, I think it's a trust thing between everyone. Um, but, and I think it's coming along better because we did fight pretty hard at the end of that fifth set to get back to 13. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's just a mental game because we have the tools to win. Like JJ played great tonight. Uh, our hitters played pretty good tonight, I thought. And we passed the ball pretty well. We just got to mentally win the game now. And that's a great point. When you guys are on and you're playing with the swagger and you're chirping a little bit, you're a dangerous team. Yeah. But sometimes when things don't go your way, it kind of is the opposite. Uh -huh. How do you as a team take a loss like this and come back for the next game and s keep yourself right no matter the circumstances? Yeah, we just got to, I don't know. I think we got to realize how good we are when we do play like that. Because I think when we do it, we just have so much fun and it, we just, it just flows, you know? And then we make one mistake and then everyone kind of gets in their heads. But we're too good to be messed, like getting in our heads after one mistake. So I think... I think tomorrow we'll bounce back and play way better than we did today. And JJ, tomorrow you have an undermanned but a tough team, the unbeaten freedom. How do you take on that team? Uh, it's funny because most of the players were in Untouchable last year, so it's like kindly playing with the same team that I played last year. I know they miss Ian Cab, Brian Liu, Tall Pop, they, but they keep the same team as last year from Untouchable. Uh, we talked about it uh, already earlier in the morning. I saw their game. We have a strategy, so I tr let's see if we can keep it up. Like, forgot that we lost tonight, and we can bring, a, if we bring a good serve, we have tall guys. Like, no one can go over the block. So I think if we got a good serve and started with the block, I think we're gonna uh, freedom. We're gonna have a loss, uh, not a loss, but uh, a rough noon. Yeah. But I think that uh, it's gonna be a good match. Yeah, I think I think we'll play well tomorrow. Count on it. I'm excited to see it. Thanks, guys. That's all I got. Right, thank you. Thank Noah. you. Happy Father's Day, by the yeah, way. Happy Father's Day, Dad.